preference of learning styles and its relationship with academic performance among junior secondary school students in Dutch local government area, Jigawa State, Nigeria. This article is written by two authors. First author Joy N. Joka from Department of Educational Foundations, Guidance and Counseling University of Kolobar, Kolobar, Cross River State, Nigeria. Second author Bayziru Abdul Hamid from School of Arts and Social Studies Federal College of Education Kano, Kano State, Nigeria. Contribution and originality of the study is that, the study is one of the few studies which have investigated preference of learning styles among secondary school students in Nigeria with Jigawa State as a focal point. Correlating learning styles with academic performance among junior secondary school students further enhances teaching and learning in DUTS. The thrust of the study was to investigate the preference of learning styles and its relationship with academic performance among junior secondary school students in DUTS local government area, Jigawa State, Nigeria. The study employed survey design. The statistics used for analysis of data were mean, percentages and Pearson product moment correlation coefficient. From 30 junior secondary schools in the local government area, 10 schools were randomly selected. Out of a total students population of 2,200 students in the selected schools, 327 students were randomly selected using simple hat and draw method. This sample size was determined using Crudgesey and Morgan, 1970, table for determining sample size. Two research instruments were used for data collection, namely Barsh Leaning Style Inventory and Academic Performance Test. The result revealed that 217 of the student's preferred GIN aesthetic learning style, 66 of them preferred visual style while 44 of them preferred auditory style. It was also noted that the learning style of the students affected their academic performance because the performances of students correlated with the learning styles they preferred. It is recommended that learning should be made more practical since most of the students learned by doing. Thanks for watching this video of PAC Publishing Group of International Journal of Education and Practice Volume 4 Issue Number 3.